we, we did some good things, but then we did, you know, we did some bad things. Um, we're still learning, and it's what I told them is this is practice. That's why we practice. Now we happen to be in a game-like atmosphere, but it's still practice. Uh, we put them in situations that they have to learn from. When we initially put you in the situation, we don't necessarily expect you to be 100%, um, but we do expect you to learn from it. So, um, like I said, they did some good things with the situations that we gave them, but um, we got to continually be better. Overall, what do you think of the progress they've made picking up your system? Well, when you, we, we, sometimes we'll go back and we'll review day one video, and we'll look at video at the present day. And uh, when you look at day one and compare it to what we're doing right now, we've thrown a lot at them. We've thrown a lot at them, and we've thrown it in a way uh, that has been pretty demanding. Even even back since winter conditioning with Coach True, it's been it's been a big time culture change for them, uh, and they've adjusted well. They've accepted. They've bought in to what we're selling, uh, and that's that's really all you can ask at this point. What Coach Mars has talked to him about is not looking ahead, just 30 feet in front of us, and, and take baby steps, right? Eventually, we'll be expected to come out here and play a college football game. We're not, we're not there. We're not, that's not the expectation. The expectation is to progress each day with what we need. So during spring, what are the, like, really the biggest things that you're looking for to accomplish? Well, we want, we want to learn these guys. We want to learn their strengths and their weaknesses. We want to find us a depth chart, right? And not, you know, we have a, a class of recruits coming in. Well, we can't depend on those guys to come in and save the defense. Uh, we got to depend on the Jonathan Yingas, the Robert Seals, figure out what their strengths are, and within our system, put them in the places so that they can be successful, so that we can accent their strengths and as best we can cover up their weaknesses. Do you like some of the things you've seen in those places? In, in terms of, you know, definitely, definitely. In. I'm satisfied with, um, for the most part, I'm satisfied with the progress. This is not a finished product, but if, if you look, if you look as a coach for the finished product at this place at this time, I think you're wrong, right? We're, look, we're looking for progress and uh, slow and steady progress, and eventually, because. Like I said earlier, because they're buying in, because every everywhere I see them, they have those those playbooks in their hands, right? They're they're studying films, they're asking the right questions. So, as a coach, that's encouraging. Um, they they won't take an easy step. They won't take a lazy step. The demands are too high out here, uh, and they they're, un, they're beginning to understand that, and that's 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 encouraging. What's the biggest difference do you think that fans will see in this defense as opposed to last year? Not that you were responsible for last year's defense, but uh, yeah, I, I can't I can't speak to yeah, last year. But what I'll say is that they're going to be a group that is they're going to play hard. They understand they understand the systems of the game. They understand the situations in the game. They're going to be smart. We're going to we're going to create turnovers. That's that's one of the things that that these coaches on our defensive staff, uh, a couple of them have led the nation in turnovers uh, at different times in their careers, and so they understand how to train a defense to to be that aggressive, to be that way. We're going to be aggressive on defense at times in spots, um, but we're going to. Um, at the end of the day, we're going we're gonna to play hard. That's that, that's when when we as defensive coaches watch other defenses. What we want to do is say, man, how, how hard do they play? Well, when other people watch SMU, you know, there'll be a time where we'll give up a play. There'll be a time where the other team will uh, out talent us, but there'll never be a time where they'll outwork us, where they'll out effort us, and where we won't play small. And, and that's what we're training for right now. One of the positions people have talked about in your system is the star linebacker. Can you explain, is that just a nickname for that position, or is there something unique about that that separates it from a linebacker in other systems? Well, you know, really we, we try to do things that make that guy a star. Uh, normally he's been, he's been a high tackler. He's been a high turnover guy. He's been a guy who, uh, who has had... Uh, you know, a lot of things thrown at him over the years. I'm talking because we'll ask that guy to cover, we'll ask that guy to blitz, we'll ask that guy to set the edge on the run, we'll ask that guy to sometimes fall into uh, and look like a, a true four-three linebacker. Uh, so, so we. He'll be a star with all the things that he does, and we need a guy who is capable of being a star 
uh, uh, in college football to play that position. Not to mention the fact that recruits like the name. <laughs> <laughs> you had Shaquille Randolph there. He's dinged up now. Mm -hmm. um, First of all, what made you decide to move him from safety where he's played the last few years, and then who's filling in for him? Well, he's one of the better players. Um, as we as we watched, he's played corner, he's played safety. Yes, well, when, you, when he has all this ability, you want to be able to get him around the football as best you can. You want to be able to allow him to use his strengths to, to make plays. Uh, so it was a, it was a logical uh, move to, to put him there. And since he's dinged up, it's just giving other guys, some of those wheel linebackers who can run really well, uh, not the perfect position for them, but it's put stress on them in that way. And they've had to learn wheel and star. So it has helped them to develop, even, even more so than having Shaquille play there. It's helped some other guys be able to develop as well. And they'll go back and they'll be better wheels because of the opportunity to play star. What type of players do you look for in that position? Guys with length, guys that can run, or obviously. You right. said it, guys with length, who can run, who have coverage ability, who are tough, tough enough to be able to play the linebacker position, because the offense will sometimes sit that guy down in the box. Well, he has to be physical enough, has enough size to be able to be a linebacker, but then has to be agile enough to be able to step out and cover that number two vertically. Well, the fact that Shaq played safety and he's done it, he's played corner, it was, like I said, it was a logical move to be able to place him in that position. A week or two ago, Coach Morris said that he thought the defense was coming along maybe a little bit ahead of the offense. Would you agree with that? Of course I would. Yeah, I think he's trying, to, he's trying to lower me to sleep, right? He's trying to lower me to sleep. I'm not buying it. Uh, like I said, we, we, when we came here, when we came here, the effort was, was to make sure that we as coaches stayed disciplined, that we understood we're not going to win the Super Bowl. We, we can't play in the Super Bowl, can we? We're not going to win the Super Bowl this spring. We're climbing Mount Spring Ball, and we're going to stay disciplined to that. We're not going to try to out-scheme the offense, create blitzes to win the game. We're going to try to get – there came a point here in the scrimmage when they were pounding us, we, we, no blitzes. We're going to play base defense, and guys are going to have to get off the blocks and be able to get to the football. And we – okay. And we were able to do that. We were able to do that. Well, they, they're going to be sometimes in games, you can't just blitz – you can't just blitz your way out of it. They have to learn to play base defense, and that's that's part of the progression. We can play base defense. We can have confidence in our base, base defense. When we start to blitz, that's a bonus. That's icing on the cake. What did Coach want to say to you when he was hired and talk to you about coming here with him? Uh, he said, that's all he said. <laughs> That means, are you coming? Yeah. <laughs> no, he uh, he talked to me about he talked to me about the, the challenges that, that that were ahead of us. But you know what? It, it was a very brief conversation, actually. Just as these other coaches, the conversation was brief because to operate with Coach Morris, to to work with Coach Morris, and what I know about him as a man, my family and I were on board. You know, and we talked about, you know, other situations, uh, other opportunities that he'd have. Uh, but, but this one was, was primed and ready for this staff at this time, uh, this place. Thanks, guys.